successes and that's one of the things we are celebrating successful births and also we are answering your questions if you have any concerns dr darren green in the house we're talking about cesarean births versus natural births 0839133728 mummy from bronfontein you are live on expresso what's your question hello how are you very good how are you i'm fine oh. i would like to know i had a cesarean section in 2011. Right. Mm -hmm. So when am I, am I going to be ready to have another child? So are you wanting to know if you fall pregnant, are you allowed to have another cesarean or natural birth? Or uh, are, you, are you asking, are you allowed to fall pregnant now and have another baby? No. I just want to know when, I, when am I going to be ready because the doctor said anything about I'll have to wait for the scar to... Ah, okay. Something like that, yes. Okay. No problem, mommy. Thanks so much for your question, eh? I appreciate it. All right. Doctor. Good. Yeah, she wants to know when she should fall pregnant again. Mm -hmm. I assume she's only had one child and one cesarean section in, mm -hmm. 20, tw in 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, and the answer is simply, you should try and, I almost say, skip one season. So the two-year gap is, is often a, a useful thing that gynees use. Uh, however, uh, when you've had more cesarean sections, like three, uh, three children, for example, you can imagine with each cesarean section mm -hmm. you have this scar tissue, uh, which affects then the contractibility of the uterus, etc., and could lead to more complications. Uh, if you've had a cesarean section and you want to go normal birth, after having one cesarean section, you have what's called a trial of scar. In other words, they let you go through the, the birthing process, the first stage of labor, monitoring your progress and seeing, but monitoring with a very vigilant eye for any slow or delayed progress during during labor and then they'll obviously act again quickly if there is a problem and and one of the the biggest things that lead to poor progress is actually a fatigued and tired mom oh wow okay so lots of sleep okay mommy that answered the question for you so thank you so much once again for your call Doctor, I've got so many questions. The myths, go, go. you know, in the community, <laughs> you, must oily drink. Yeah. you must drink castor oil or have eggs in order to make this. Does it work? A lot of, a lot of, women, a lot of women like to have a, a laxative beforehand mm. because they think it's going to make the baby slip it out quickly. Make. Well, emptying the bowel does, but ah. obviously the, the time must be appropriate. The, the doctor is standing there waiting to deliver the baby and you don't want any surprises. So the guy needs, please, they beg the patient. Don't take laxatives just before coming into the, the, the labor room, please. Okay, well, there's so many questions that we have. If you want to continue this conversation on our Facebook page, Expresso Show SABC3, please connect with us. Like the page and, yeah, state your questions or even <laughs> ask more if you'd like. Thank you so much, Dr. Pleasure. Darren Green, for joining us this morning. Thanks for your questions as they were coming through. Uh, uh, natural birth versus cesarean. Sure, I need to talk about it. You and what's going on?